Well, this uh, a Joe DiMaggio autographed bat. I've got it through an auction in New Jersey back in 1976. Well, first let's talk about Joe DiMaggio. Widely considered the best ball player ever. Played 13 seasons, all for the New York Yankees, 1936 to 1951. Right. And while only 13 seasons there, because he also served two years in World War II. Nine World Series championships, a 13-time All-Star, 2,214 hits. He finished up with a career batting average of 325. Most known for the 56-game hitting streak that still stands today. Right. I'm known as Jolton Joe and the Yankee Clipper. And I don't know how I could be more excited about an old wood bat to come in than this one today. Tell me a little bit more about how you, how you acquired it. I put a bid in through a mail. I bid 130 for it. A gentleman back east bid 130 also. So we had a three-way conversation via phone and uh, they wanted us to outbid each other. So I bid 135 and he bid 140. So I went up to 147 and he said, that's too rich for me. Uh, and what year was this? This was 1976. As we're here today in 2019 dollars would be the equivalent of about $650 or so. I made 150 weekly and I put 147 for the bet. And I, uh, my wife wasn't too happy. When it came in the mail, it smelled like oil, like olive oil. Tell me more about the provenance the auctioneer provided when you were bidding on the bat. It was game used, autograph, uh, Joe DiMaggio bat. The lady used to work for the Yankees in the front office. Her husband was a collector and she would get all these items for him. He passed away one year and uh, she didn't know what to do with all this stuff. So she put everything up for auction. Did you ever meet Joe? Yeah, I met Joe DiMaggio. I heard that he was doing an autograph signing at a college in San Jose. So I went, I got in line, very small line. I mean, nobody was there. I was telling him about the bat and I asked him, why is it black? Why is it burnt? And why is it uh, sanded? He said, well, you got my bread and butter bat. He said, you know, I, I get a shipment and I go through the bats and I pick the, the one that feels good. I dip it in olive oil and I sprinkle rosin on it and then I put it under a flame. When it sets, I, I sand it smooth. And uh, that's my bread and butter bat, he told me. That's awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> and one thing else I remember about Joe was uh, he had huge hands. His hands were huge. What year was that? It was 1994. Did you have anything signed that day? He signed a baseball for me. And how much did that cost in 1994? $30. I was going to bring the bat. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know for sure that he was going to be there, and I didn't want to bring it up. What you talk about is exactly what we want to see to authenticate a Joe DiMaggio game used bat. Mm -hmm. These special characteristics that were unique to him. Right. And we right. know from his stories, he told people like he told you, we know that it's documented about some of these features we're going to go over about this bat. So it is known that on his game used bats that he did sand the barrels. The other thing about this bat, too, is we see the tape on the handle. We're going to assume that's because this bat cracked. But what a lot of use this bat saw before it eventually took a crack. The bat came out in 47, and that was its MVP year. From the Louisville Sluggers that, that I've reviewed, 1946 to 1948 is when these particular specs were part of Joe's order. Right. So we have the bat at 35 and 3 quarters inches. We have it at 35.7 ounces. That's not uncommon for him to be slightly under 36 ounces because of the sanding and the use. Right. This particular Louisville Slugger game used Joe DiMaggio bat is made of ash. And then the last key component, of course, is the serial number on the knob. Are you familiar with that? D29, that's yeah. a small knob. Yep, so part of the Louisville Slugger process was the players would order these bats to their specifications. Right. And they would vary throughout their career. They would change size and weight. Joe DiMaggio was only known to change about a half an inch on the size of his bats over his career. But that serial number would not be something that would ever get shipped to a hardware store, a sporting goods store, anything like that. That number is unique to his game used bats. Right. It's also signed by Joe DiMaggio. We can only imagine with the use on this, how many hits did this one see? If you've read about Joe's bats, Joe DiMaggio's game used bats, they're not readily available. And like with ones like this, you can see how much use he would get out of them. They're hard to come by. They're very desirable to the collectors. I can find records as auction records have been databased now for you know 20 so years. 
I can find maybe about 50 examples that have come to auction. I'm super excited about this bat. I would place a value at auction of $80,000 to $100,000. Oh. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Great. That's, that's great, to, great to hear. Great to hear. You know, I'll, I'll never sell it. I would have a value placed on it for insurance purposes of $125,000. Wow.